I don't get emotional towards stories. That's just not who I am. I have no problem with sympathy, but legitimate emotional empathy? That's just not me. I can count on one hand the number of times a story has made me truly cry. But that usually has more to do with who I am the first time I see it rather than the writing itself. Of course, there are exceptions. Persona 3, 4, and Final Fantasy 7 are games that have been able to really get me time and time again. And in each of these games, there is that moment. That one where everything the game has been building up, the tension, the anxiety, the conflict, the pain, the love, is all at once released. It can break your heart while causing it to grow three sizes. It can cause you to go into a legitimate state of mourning while you think of all of the loved ones you've had to leave behind in order to just continue on with your life. And it can cause you to bring an air of nostalgia to something you only discovered a week ago. All of this, just from one moment. And in Undertale, for me, this is that moment. This moment shattered me. This hug isn't just a hug. It is the culmination of a massive amount of effort you've put in to try and make everyone happy. Getting this hug means having demonstrated patience and compassion to everyone you've met in-game, no matter how hard that may have been. It means refusing to hurt your adoptive mother, after spending so much time trying to avoid harming her that you may begin to question if you even can. It means listening to Papyrus try to keep Undyne off your back. It means going out of your way to hunt down and befriend Undyne and making pasta together. It means contributing to the spider bake sale. It means striking a pose on stage. It means staying your hand against the one man standing between you and freedom. And it means finding it in yourself to move past your gut reaction and choosing to spare the one monster in this game who is truly a monster. This hug means forgiveness. Everyone here is hurt. Everyone's scared. Everyone is lashing out and doing things that aren't who they really are. These are people who are at their worst, but it would be a mistake to define them on that. There are no bloodthirsty guards, just two young men who are alone and eager to not feel that way. There are no mad scientists, just a woman who was eager to help her kingdom as best she could. There are no kings crazed for power, just a parent in mourning, eager for all of this to end. And there are no omnipotent gods of hyperdeath, only a fragile child who just wants to play for five more minutes because he isn't ready to die yet. But it was up to us to help them come home. More than anything, it means that you, as a player, have grown. I can't speak for you, but I can speak for me. I came into this game the way I did every game, ready to slash and burn. And why wouldn't I? I've played a million games like this. I know what to expect, but I didn't. We have all killed Toriel. And I think nearly none of us meant to do it. For that matter, there's a good chance we killed many more monsters than that. Who knows how many we've killed. But what choice do we have? If she wouldn't move, what else was there? She was attacking us, and how were we supposed to know we could spare her? And if we were low on health and had no chance to figure out how to resolve this peacefully, how could we be expected to? Sure, this is the RPG where no one has to die, but... But I guess sometimes it's just kill or be killed. Except it's not. It never is. One thing that always frustrated me about Toby Fox was the fact that he seemed to not want the player to be the one to succeed. But he did want the player to be the one to be punished. If you go down the genocide route, then it's you. It's all you who did that. But if you went down the pacifist route, it wasn't you. It was Frisk. For the longest time, I just could not understand this. That was until I spoke with Azrael. He described Parsi, or rather, me, as a cruel human being who hated humanity, who was eager to kill an entire village simply because he'd been given the option. Put succinctly, they weren't the best person. At first I was offended, but then I realized 
How many times had I done exactly that in games? Digitally, I've murdered a nation's worth of people. I don't really think there's any moral weight to those deaths, but there is moral weight in my complacency of treating that as an end-all, be-all norm, and never asking for some kind of alternative. Not all games, even ones with combat, have to come to this. I came into this game as Parsi, expecting and eager for violence. I came into it as not the best person, but I left it as, or at least a little closer to being Frisk. The child who wanted to bring out the best in everyone around them, behave with compassion and patience, and make everyone's hopes and dreams come true. And that's what this hug is. It's me thinking of all the loved ones I've met and will meet in my life, and all of the ways they will help me and I will help them. It's me accepting that we all make mistakes, but should we accept them, we can move past them. And it's me coming out of the underground, knowing I don't have to be cruel just because I live in a cruel world. I don't have to kill, and I don't have to be killed. And I think that's the best I can strive for.